it could be one of the few recession-proof businesses. More garbage companies are popping up across the metro, and in this tough economy, it might pay to shop around. Fox Nights' Jeff Goldberg is live in Edina to explain. Well, this is a common sight around the metro. You have trash at the end of one driveway in containers owned by one company, and then you cross the street or go next door, and you have trash at the end of a driveway in a container owned by another company. That means a lot of traffic on Trash Day and many companies competing to be the only one in the neighborhood. Taking out the garbage Wednesday night in Edina can mean only one thing. It is loud. It, it varies, you know, um, starting sometime about 15 to 7. Sharon Strand and her neighbors will see a fleet of trash trucks Thursday morning. Well, it can be quite busy when you're trying to back out and, and take your children to school. All over the metro, several different companies service homes in the same neighborhood, even right next door. And the battle for business... It's really competitive out there, yeah. ...is creating opportunity for Andy Sorensen, co-owner of Garbage Man and Hopkins, a trash business with a green hue. Price is a factor, and we're price conscious, but... You know, at the end of the day, there's other things that bring value to your neighborhood. Example number one is the small truck. Less wear and tear on streets and quieter. And in a tough economy, when every dollar matters, so does personal service. Otherwise, we're just another company. Prices can vary wildly, anywhere from 10 to $45 a month. More than 30 garbage haulers work the metro, some small and local, some huge and national. Waste management generally supports a lot of competition. Waste management is the largest hauler in Minnesota, owning 40% of the market and also the biggest recycler. Like a big box store, they can keep prices low and worry less than others about competitors. It results in higher service and higher, higher quality business uh, for everyone. Sharon Strand likes her current provider, but she's open to throwing out the old. We, we perhaps would. And bringing in the new. Why not? When you can save, save a few bucks, it really helps. In an era of internet and cell phone advertising, a lot of the old ways still work in this trade. A lot of pamphlets being handed out, knocking on doors, trying to get commitments from homeowners. The best case scenario, getting a couple homes on one street to commit to one company, or even in the best cases of scenario, get a whole neighborhood. Live in Edina, Jeff Goldberg, Fox 9 News. From the Twin Cities